Yes, welcome back. Now I am going to discuss few problems uh, based on finite Fourier sine and cosine transform. Now you see here, first example, find the finite Fourier sine and cosine transform of f of x defined by f of x is equals to x, where 0 less than x less than 4. Here the given function is x and the finite limit is 0 to 4. Then here if you compare with 0 less than x less than l, then your l value is 4. 0 to 4 is the finite interval and f of x value is x. Okay, this is given data. Then for this, we they are asking to find finite Fourier sine and cosine transform. So then we need to apply the earlier formulas here. Uh, first one, uh, go with the finite Fourier sine transform formula. Fs of n is equals to integral 0 to l f of x sin n pi x by l into dx. Fs of n is equals to integral 0 to l. In place of l, you replace 4. f of x value is x. That is given function is x and sin n pi x by 4. Okay. Then here to integrate, you treat x as a first function, sin n pi x by 4 as a second function. For this, you go with the uh, integration by parts formula. Here I written integral u into v dx is equal to u into v1 minus u dash v2 plus and so on. Here u is uh, your x and v is sin n pi x by 4. If you integrate it, first function as it is, second function integration of sin n pi x by l, sorry, integration of uh, sin, integration of sin n pi x by 4 gives minus cos n pi x by 4 uh, divided by the constant n pi by 4 minus differentiation of first function is 1 and the integration of uh, minus cos n pi x by 4 gives minus sin n pi x by 4 divided by n square pi square by 4 square. Now you need to simplify this expression. Now you need to simplify this uh, expression. Here denominator contains uh, n pi by 4, here n square pi square by 4 square. You take it to the numerator in next step so that you are getting fs of n is equals to minus 4x by n pi cos n pi x by 4 plus 16 n square pi square sin n pi x by 4 limits from 0 to 4. Upper limit is 4, lower limit is 0. Now you apply the limit in the next uh, step fs of n is equals to upper limit is 4 in place of x if you substitute 4 upper limit then you are getting uh, 4 into 4 minus 16 by n pi cos n pi 4 by 4 4 4 cancels you are getting cos n pi plus 16 n square pi square sin n pi 4 by 4 4 4 cancels you are getting sin n pi minus you go with the lower limit lower limit is 0 if you substitute 0 here in place of x, the first term becomes 0. In case of uh, second term, sine of 0 gives 0. Therefore, for the lower limit, your complete terms are going to be 0. Then you rewrite the given uh, remaining terms. fs of n is equals to minus 16 by n pi. Here, uh, remaining term is cos n pi plus 16 by n square pi square sin n pi value is 0. You know, already in uh, last unit sin n pi value will be 0 and cos n pi value is minus 1 power n. If you substitute this, you are getting fs of n is equals to minus 16 by n pi minus 1 power n. This is known as the finite Fourier sine transform. Okay. In the same way, we need to find the finite Fourier cosine transform value. For this, use the formula fc of n is equals to integral 0 to l f of x cos n pi x by l into dx. Then here f of x value is uh, x and in place of l you substitute 4. Then you are getting fc of n is equal to integral 0 to 4 x into cos n pi x by 4 into dx. Here you treat x as uh, u and cos n pi x by 4 as v. Integrate by parts like uh, earlier uh, uh, formula. So you integrate it and substitute the limit. So here finally you are getting if you simplify the answer is fc of n is equals to 16 by n square pi square minus 1 power n minus 1. You notice that here minus 1 power n. Then the value of fc n depends on this n value. If your n is odd, then you are getting the value minus 32 divided by n square pi square. 
if your n is a even number then your fcn value is going to be zero so you are getting fcn value only for the odd numbers therefore your final fcn value when n is odd is minus 32 by n square pi square is the finite Fourier cosine transform uh, expression okay in the same way you need to solve a uh, few more examples let us go for the second example in next video i am going to discuss second problem you please keep watching